Welcome back to the show, Gilligan Phantom fans and friends. We are turning a school bus into a tiny house. This is what it looks like currently. It's looking real cool in here. We have a toilet, my friends. This is an airhead composting toilet. It's so little, I love it. It's not cheap. It's like ridiculously expensive. But we did get ours open box. Somebody who follows this channel gave us a hookup on one for sale. And we got it shipped to us from Texas. We saved some money. But I'm gonna do a good job of showing you guys how to install an airhead toilet in a school bus. We went through it with the airhead because, now I'm just gonna be completely honest with you here, some things you just have to do. You just have to commit, jump into it and say, you know what, pros or cons, I'm just doing that. I said, we're gonna do a composting toilet it seems to work for people. We're not gonna do any research. And that's exactly what happened. But I did happen upon a video made by Bussy McBus face, and those guys are super cool. They're turning a school bus into a tiny house also. Go check out their channel below. We're kind of like competing with each other for cool ideas. They did this whole like 20 minute video about the airhead toilet, and 10 minutes in, I just turned it off and I was like, I'm getting the airhead toilet. I don't even need to know anything more about it. And so here I am with an airhead toilet. And the big thing for me was that you don't have to lift the solids to get the pee tank out. So, yeah, why would I want to lift the solids? I don't, nature's head, airhead, they're both great options. Airhead's what we got, so let me show it to you. So bam, there it is, installed. I can poop in that now. Just kidding, it's placed there. Placed and installed are different things. So we're only doing a couple of things here. It's really easy to install. We're bolting this to the floor, not bolting, we're screwing this to the floor via four brackets. Secured, done. Before we do that, we're going to vent the toilet through the floor right there. With this fan and this vent thing and some hose. And then the third thing we're doing is we're hooking up the fan to power. That's it, it shouldn't take long. What I've done is I have centered this left to right, and now I'm gonna make a little mark on the floor for the outside of my brackets. Now. like it? Feels like I'm using the bathroom. The next thing we have to do is make the vent. Nate's here. Nate's gonna drill this vent hole while I go down there and make sure that uh, there's nothing crazy he's gonna hit when he goes all the way through. Okay, I'm leaving. See you on the other side. Okay, so we have this metal plate on the right side, so we're just gonna go for the left side. Not neither side's really better, whereas they're both aesthetically sort of the same. The first thing we're doing is we're making this screened plug go in on the right hand side. This will allow the unit, to, well, the fan to pull air through the whole thing. So that goes in there. Okay. So we've gotta get this right here, like that. But we also need to have this disconnect because they want you to clean this fan like every year. I don't know what goes on there. Maybe poop leaves? Oh, gross. I don't know if I want to do that. I quit. So since I got tons of hose here, I'm gonna cut some of it and then experiment with how far away from the vent we need to place this and still get a normal looking. First thread it, see? With the tidy. What do you think? How does that look? Could work, right? Yeah, it looks like a toilet. But now we need this to fit in there. It just doesn't make sense to me. Why can't I just put this right there? Simple. Can I do that? Now they want you to glue this ring onto here once it's inside here with PVC glue and primer. 
I don't really like things that are permanent like that. There's other ways to secure this. So I'm actually going to put two or three self-tapping screws through this. I think I could be redoing that in the near future, but that's my ring for now. All right, so I'm over here doing airhead modifications still. This right here is like a quick disconnect thing because it had a screen in it and they want you to clean out that screen to clean any like poop leaves or poop bugs. Is that, is a poop leaf a thing? But I don't see the need for that because I've got a really short run and I can just twist it off of the toilet. And whether this is here or here, I don't think makes any difference. So I've fit it into here. It's not going anywhere. And this is still gonna thread into that. And then I can mount this, do my hole, mount this, wire it, and then I'm done. I think this works. Think you can do this? Yeah. All right, good attitude. So you're gonna center this right where those two lines meet right there. Make sure you have your drill straight up and down. Yep. Through down. Yep, nice and slow, just straight up and down. <laughs> oh my God. All right, to, yeah, there you go. Now, start it going and then push down. Keep going, you're almost there. Okay, you did it. Pull it up. All right. We got it installed and now I'm going to wire it, make sure that it works, do some wire management, put that toilet back down and take a poop. Just kidding, no pooping. Okay, so I put this back here because I want to see where this hose naturally falls because right behind it is where I'm going to drill my hole, stick my wire through, and then I'm going to be taping these wires to the back of the hose and that way nobody will see them. So what I'm doing now is I've got a 14 gauge wire coming to this um, fart fan here and coming out of it I've got like, dude I don't even, like a 22 gauge wire or something. So I have this 22 gauge connect thing and this 14 to 16 gauge receiver so to speak. They make a nice connection and if it's ever not working I'll know why. So I'm going to crimp these on with my new ratchet and crimpers. I guess this wire is shorter than 22 because it doesn't even fit in here. I mean, it's smaller. Pain in the butt, why, why can't you just give me a larger wire? Come here, man. On this fart fan. So what I did here was I took a 16 gauge, 14 gauge splice connector and I pushed this into the wires over here and it's now not coming out. So hopefully that's a good connection for a long time. All right, so this is all installed and now I just gotta put this over there. Has there been any mosquitoes in here? Okay, so Nate has switched over this handle for us. Uh, Nate? Oh God, I'm gonna have to cut this handle now. All right, so we're all installed here. Got the fan running. You can actually hear it down there if you listen really closely. And I'm just gonna do a little test to see if it's working. So you can probably hear that. Feel it pulling air through. And if I do this, hopefully it sticks. Sort of, sort of sticks. Whatever, I can feel it. And now our composting toilet is running. Uh, if you guys will excuse me, I think I'm going to use it. Okay. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And we'll see you next time. Bye.